years after Columbus discovered America, Spanish explorers first landed on the beautiful coast of California in search of gold, but finding none, they sailed away. Nevertheless, their stories of the land of perpetual summer inspired others to follow them. And in time, California became one of the outstanding states of the nation. to a network of fine modern railways and unexcelled motor highways. A tour of California is a thrilling travel experience, especially in the springtime, when whole sections of the state are carpeted with wildflowers. Spanish settlers brought and planted the seeds for this mustard plant, which now grows wild like the famous California poppy, known as the state flower. A plant common to all parts of the state is the lupin, varying from a tiny species in the mountains to larger varieties near the ocean. Although California lupins are of many colors, deep blue, lavender, and purple seem to predominate. Because of unusually fertile soil and a vast amount of sunshine, it is comparatively easy to grow flowers in California, and it is not uncommon to see whole front yards made up of one flower bank after another. Spreading into the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains is Hollywood, famous as the motion picture center of the world, even though most of the major producing units are not in the Hollywood district, but are scattered through the outlying areas. Hollywood Boulevard is the main thoroughfare, as well as the central business and amusement district. The scene of most of Hollywood's super world premieres is Grauman's Chinese Theater where stars and film executives attend opening performances of new films with a ballyhoo of searchlights, microphones, and loudspeakers. The availability of world-famous talent has helped to make Hollywood an important radio center from which many worldwide broadcasts originate. The stars and personalities connected with the motion picture industry are largely responsible for influencing the birth of many interesting ideas, customs, and businesses in Hollywood, many of which are as fantastic as the pictures dreamed up in the land of make-believe. Among the unique business enterprises is the farmer's market. It was originated in 1934 with only a few farmers and merchants. But the venture proved so successful that it has now become a 90-unit marketplace where there are stalls selling almost everything under the sun, a complete shopping center which serves over 35,000 customers daily. Aside from shops, it has a laundry service, a post office, and a railway express office and also provides accommodations for the payment of public utility bills and income taxes. The fruit stalls are always a source of colorful delight to shoppers as well as spectators. We are told that about half of the fresh fruit consumed in the United States comes from California. Incidentally, agriculture is the basic industry of the state and its production costs are said to be more than triple 
that of its fabulous motion picture industry. Lunch here consists of choice delicacies, which are selected at the various food stands and taken to the outdoor tables of the restaurant, patterned after the sidewalk cafes of Paris. In extreme contrast to this enterprise is Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, one of the most unique cemeteries in the world, employing over 600 workers, all pledged to making the institution which they serve a beautiful resting place for the dead, as well as an inspiring source of consolation to the living. Among the park's interesting statues are the Finding of Moses, a reproduction of the original by Brazza, and the Mystery of Life, an original executed in marble by Ernesto Cazzeri, who spent most of his life in its making. There are three non-denominational churches in the park. The Wee Kirk of the Heather, a reconstruction of Annie Laurie's church in Scotland the little church of the flowers, inspired by that of Stoke Poges, England, and the church of the recessional, which is a reproduction of the parish church of St. Margaret in Rottingdean, England, and was built as a memorial to the life and works of Rudyard Kipling. Over 15,000 weddings have taken place in the churches of Forest Lawn and in unique association with them stands the romantic ring of Aldith, to which an old Saxon legend attaches a prophecy of happiness and devotion for those who clasp hands through the ring and repeat together the inscribed vow, thy hand in mine, this ring doth bind, my heart to thine. Forest Lawn's founder prefers to be known simply as the builder. Deciding that most cemeteries were depressing, he abolished headstones in favor of bronze tablets and formulated the Builder's Creed, which expresses his belief in a happy, eternal life and his pledge to build a great park, devoid of misshapen monuments and other customary signs of earthly death, but filled with the magnificence of nature, harmonizing with the noble works of mankind. In the Mausoleum's Memorial Court of Honor is the world-famous Rosa Caselli Moretti recreation in stained glass of Leonardo da Vinci's painting, The Last Supper. It took seven years to complete and is probably the outstanding art contribution of the present generation to posterity. The figures are double life size and they are illuminated by natural light, which is controlled by rear shutters thereby giving changing effects to this masterpiece as each hour of daylight passes. On the summit of Mount Forest Lawn, before the majestic Tower of Legends, where Easter sunrise services are held to commemorate the resurrection of Christ, we most reluctantly conclude our glimpses of California. Thank you.